Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Archinomad and in this today's tutorial I will teach you how to create a sloped curtain ball in Revit. So let's get started. So first of all as you can see here in my project one of the clients I'm doing with so this was a project I just copied and uh, for to show you actually. So I just uh, copied this project in another so I don't want to touch my original project. So as you can see here it's a nice cool looking you can say it's a facade I mean I call it as a curtain sloped. So it is sometimes people ask me uh, this question like because in the Revit we cannot we can only create this uh, change its property to its curtain wall by the straight wall but not this kind of slope so there is a method for that so let's get started let me just delete this one and I'll show you how we can make it from the scratch so as you can see the floor of the second number I mean the second floor is a little bit inside and the third floor is on the outside so I will do one thing I'll just go to my second floor and if you cannot see the downside of the uh, I mean this uh, reference so you can make sure you should uh, the underlay you should check with like this uh, with the, I mean according to your floors I just set it a second floor and this will be the actually my roof actually so I'll just put it like that so okay so now I'm going to select this component and go to modern in place so here I will select generic model so here you can see this one I'm going to select don't select anything else because it won't work it will only work with the generic model so I will just select this and hit OK now I'll just put this oh, I mean facade okay so now I will use the blend method to create the slope on the both side then I will just create the facade I mean you can say a uh, sloped curtain ball of course so I'll just select this one then I will make sure that this one should be as you can see here it's showing the edit top means you are going to make the reference I mean you're going to sketch that the drawing of the thickness of that curtain wall is be is going to be on the top this is my top okay so and this is my the base for this project I'm taking so this one is select means it's showing the blue circle here it means it is it is going to draw on the for the top the top layer so I'll go back to my second floor and I'll just I'll just select this pick line tool and I'll just pick this lines and for this one I'll take the offset 75 millimeter so it will work for me so here I'll select as you can see when you just hover your cursor it shows a, a guideline for that so make sure it should be inside of it and for here for the joining I'll just select a simple line for it and I'll just oops uh, make sure it should be zero okay so I'll just select here and I'll here and one here and just I just close this as a boundary and then I will just do the same thing here I'll just select this one here and here I'll trim it this one so here I'll check okay so then now the top you can this one the top this will be going to be on the top actually so it's it's now created so now I will create the base so when you tap this option it will go to the base as you can see it's now reflecting this blue uh, this coordinate to the base so I will just select the same thing I did I'll just do the same I'll just go and pick the line here here oh, actually it's a grid line so that's why it's selecting the outside so make sure uh, when you're working on a project uh, 
the pick line method should be accurate. So now I'll do the same thing. I'll take a 75 mm offset. I'll just do the same thing here. And just like that. And here I'll close it. So I'll just put the zero. I'll trim it after closing this one. Let me just trim it. Okay. Okay, this one, good. You're okay. Fine. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. So now we created our bot. So I'll just simply finish this. Now if I go to 3D, you can see this is actually our sloped uh, cut and wall. So here you can see these two points actually. So why it's happening? Because uh, we didn't give, give our this uh, constraints. So uh, you can just directly give your constraint from here or you can just, uh, uh, I mean, push this arrow and just give your according to you. So I'll just use this uh, arrow key. It will be more convenient for me. So I prefer that. So I'll just go here and it shows us this uh, guideline. So now you can see it's this one is connected. Okay, it's connected. So you can see it's fully correct, perfect on this side. There is no gap in it. So now I'll just go and finish this model. Now I will go to architecture tab. I will go to select this curtain system. Now I just want to remind you that why I told you that to select a generic model. I mean, uh, this uh, parameters for that. So because the family category sh must be on a generic model. If you select anything else, then if you try to create a curtain system, it won't able to select. Sometimes people did this mistake and they used to ask me why it's not selecting, why it's and I cannot select this wall. So as you can see, it's showing the plus sign. So I'll just select here. Uh, this one also and uh, this one it's pretty fun to work on 3d actually i like it so i just select this one now i'll just go hit and create system now you can see our system is created now we can delete that generic model just delete so now our grid lines is also created you can change it later according to your project like if you just select this one it will show the add or remove the segments you can just remove it and just you can put according to you so it will take a lot of time so for this one i'm not going to do that because i just want to show you how it works and uh, there's one video actually i made to how to create a nice curved uh, cut in wall so you can apply that same method here to give a nice curved uh, to all this curtain wall here so yeah for this corner i, w I wish to create one more uh, the cut in grid so it will be looking good and give a nice sharp i mean this curve you can see it pops up outside when you select this one so here i'll do the same i'll just go here and select when you select this one it will automatically adjust and show you the middle path of this such so a select one i'll go back to architecture i will just select this mullion i will make sure select this all the grid line because if you want to uh, select one by one by if you have a different mullion properties you can then use it um, i'm not going to use because i just want to create it once so you can just simply go here all grid line and just click it it will put all the mullions in all the grid line so here same thing here you can edit all this later don't need to worry about that okay so it looks pretty awesome it looks really nice perfect if you want to edit this one make sure some people also ask me that hey why i cannot select this mullion so why because sometimes you, you cannot because this one should be unlocked the pinned element if you if this is locked if you try to hit the tab on the glass, you cannot select the glass. It would cannot select this middle of the glass. I mean, okay, sometimes it happens. Uh, this scenario happened to me, so I just want to make sure that it should be unpinned because sometimes if it is pinned, like uh, if it is like, uh, you know, I'll show you this example. If it is 
pinned and if it is like uh, locked from here then you cannot uh, I mean actually edit this one okay so make sure that it should be unpinned or you can just cross check it so yeah oh we forgot for it this one I'll just select this one okay for I'll just select this for all the grid lines okay so we just finished it's nice and looks really great so thank you so much for watching this tutorial hope you guys like it and enjoy this tutorial if you want like this kind of more content on my channel make sure that you subscribe and give a thumbs up it helps me out a lot to make more videos okay next time i'll come with more ideas and thanks for watching